Hello everyone, today we are doing our next declutter for our lipstick drawers, which are these ones here. Last time, as you guys know, we did this drawer right here and the time before that, we did this drawer right here. So if you want to see those videos, I'll put the links down below for you. This was a huge video, it took a long time, it was very satisfying. And I do have my bag of expired lipsticks right here. So we're going to add to that bag and eventually I am going to take a leaf out of Beauty Roll Christie's book and look at them under a microscope. And then I'm going to melt them all together and make a Frankenstein lipstick like Sophia Nygaard likes to do. So yeah, you can get excited for that. You guys wanted to see it, so I will be doing that. By the way, if you see these like, lipstick swatches on my hand right here, um, they are a little sneak peek of what's to come at XO Beauty Shop in just a couple of weeks. Or if that, I don't know. I don't really know what date we're launching, but keep an eye out on my social media and I will let you guys know. So yeah, I might pop back into the store right here with you guys and add to this drawer because my plan if you missed what I said last time is to try and empty out a little bit more of these drawers so hopefully I have a whole fresh empty drawer that I can use for like makeup I can put for first impressions and stuff like that just so I have a space of organized chaos you know of makeup that I need to use in videos and stuff like that because at the moment sometimes I forget about stuff that I need to use so it'll be a good space just to put you know things I need to remember. So I'm going to start up here and as you can probably see uh, a lot of this is actually drugstore brands. There are some high-end brands as well but a lot a lot a lot of drugstore. So I'm going to go through this and just see what happens. I'll swatch a few for you and do some fast forward noises like you guys love. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so I guess first of all, you know what, actually I'm gonna tackle the Chi Chi lipsticks because as you can see, they take up a large chunk of the space here. Um, I want to cut back a little bit because my collection is so large. I have, I think, most of the colors that Chi Chi does offer. So I need to just cut it back to like maybe 15 or so of my like favorites. So it's not so overwhelming. You can see they're friggin' everywhere. I think I'll definitely keep Sex Bomb. Sex Bomb is like one of my favorites. Look at this. It is a beautiful soft kind of lavender based pink. I'm just gonna put the ones I'm keeping down in this corner. What else do we have? Hopelessly Devoted. I'm gonna have to be so cutthroat guys. That's like a foil. It actually reminds me so much of the Dolce & Gabbana lipstick in my previous declutter video from the top drawer. If you guys remember the one, it's like a peachy gold kind of duochrome situation. So I'm gonna declutter that one for now. I need like a box or something I can put all of my ones that I'll give to friends and everything because these have only been used like once. Um, any lipsticks that have been used lightly I'll give to friends and family. And then all the others are going in the bin because some of them are very, very old and expired. I'll only be donating unused ones. So, okay, and next up we've got Lady Boss. This is a really nice Kind of pinky shade it's so pigmented as you can see do i need to brighten this a little bit it might be a bit more true to color so like even the swatch of this one here has just like vanished so yeah some of these are going in the bin because i have had them for years now i'm going to speed through and just kind of pick out a few of my favorites and you guys can listen to the noises Okay, so as you can see, I have a set aside little collection. I've got quite a few nudes, which is bad, but they're so beautiful. It's made me so excited to use my Chi Chi lipsticks again because I was very intimidated. Oh, there's still some more. I was very intimidated to go through this drawer and find lip colors because there was just so many different, like, ones to choose from I guess. So now I just have a nice selection here. I will organize them by color in a bit, but I've got some really fun, unique, super bright shades. Like 
this one here called A-List Pink. It is so amazing. You guys won't actually understand. Just by looking at it on camera. We some of it, the most bright shades. This one's called Fashion Police. It was the first cheeky lipstick I ever bought. This is a new one though. The one I bought is long gone. Um, and this one here, which is called Blonde Ambition. Another favorite of mine. Like, just some really cool shades. So, I'm excited to use those some more. This one's called Shake That Booty. And it's like this amazing pastel color, which reminds me of Dose of Colors. Anyways, um, next up, what do I have here? I have some L'Oreal Paris, which are brand new, um, never been used, so you know what, should I just uh, give those to charity? We have the Gigi Hadid lipsticks by Maybelline, and I actually love Maybelline lipsticks. All of these ones down here are Maybelline, and these ones just here, so let's just have a quick browse. I did do a video about these. I can't remember which ones I used. I might just... Like, I think they were limited edition. Maybe I can give these to friends because, to be fair, I don't know if they're still available. And the colors are quite easily duped. Those must be like, what, a year or two old by now, at least? Oh, there's some more Chi Chi. They just keep coming out of my ears. I swear to goodness. Okay, next up we have some Karen Mural lipsticks, which are, I think, a New Zealand brand. And they are made completely, like, edible, which is really, really cool. So I'm just going to probably pick up maybe a couple of my favorite shades. I don't reach for these. I don't know why, because the colors are beautiful. So, I don't know. Maybe I can just find, like, three or four that I love. Maybe just like the more wearable ones so I can get a feel for them. Oh, that one's stunning. This one here is called shade 14. My hand's getting stained. That's definitely a color right up my alley. Whoops. This one is not happy. <laughs> I keep finding this with some of my lipsticks because I've had them in here for so long. Like some of them have snapped off. I've got two here which I'm going to keep. The friggin' lid doesn't want to like stick onto these and I don't know why. What am I gonna do next? I think I'm going to color out some from this side now because I know a lot of these I'm going to get rid of completely. Like all of these next ones, I did lip swatches on these years ago and I'm gonna throw them all in the bin because I'm pretty sure they're like ridiculously old. So there's heaps of like colored ones from the macaron range, there's the matte range. And I think there's one more range somewhere in here. Oh my gosh, that's a brand I actually need to like look at again because I haven't looked at NYX stuff in a long time. And it used to be one of my favorite brands to like do videos on. Okay, next up we have, oh my god, these are ancient as well. These Milani lipsticks. Literally, I'm pretty sure I bought these in like 2014, like early 2014. So... Those are well expired, I'm pretty sure. In fact, oh, here, here we go. These are the ones I was talking about, the butter lipsticks. Those are very old. So as much as I love them, they're going into the trash. And I need to figure out which of these cases are recyclable so that once I do my video of mixing all the lipsticks together, I can recycle as much as I can as well. I know some packaging is and some packaging isn't. My gosh, I used to love these. I don't even think you can like get half of these things anymore. I have all of these Rimmel and Kate lipsticks that are ancient but they are brand new so I'll just see if my friends want to try them and if you know sometimes stuff's still okay. These are old. Holy crap you guys. I literally did tutorials with some of these I swear in like 2013 or even earlier. Oh my goodness these wet and wild lipsticks. We have some Innisfree which are probably about three or four years old. I never reach for these so I'm going to pop them in the bin as well. Um, we've got heaps of Rimmel lipsticks here, which some of them are so old. Oh my god, like some of these colors I would never ever ever wear. This is like a metallic orange. What else do we have? Oh my gosh, okay, I used to wear this shade 16, Lasting Perfection by Rimmel. I remember loving this. This is another one of the Kate's. Once again, it's ancient, so I'm actually just going to get rid of all the Rimmel as well. We have that um, body shop right here. These aren't too old, I don't think, but I feel like the colors aren't that unique compared to like what I've kept from Chi Chi and stuff already. So I'm just going to put some aside for friends to have a quick look at. Um, right here I have some pixie lipsticks. These are actually beautiful. I love the formula. I did a lip swatch video on them ages ago. I'm just going to keep the more wearable ones and get rid of the hot pink, which is just probably a dupe for one of my Chi Chi ones. And I don't wear that color a lot, so there's no point having like a jillion options. Um, I'm really trying to keep more unique shades or shades that I wear a lot that I know I'll try in videos and stuff because, yeah, there's no point having a jillion different hot pinks when I wear hot pinks at all anyway. 
So, um, oh, there's another Karen mural. We have a Mecca Max lipstick in the shade Freedom Fighter, which is actually very pretty. But I might give it to a friend. Oh, Party Police. That's so pretty. I want to try this one. This is called Party Police High Def Lipstick by Mecca. We've got an Elizabeth Arden. How do I actually open this? Oh my god, fuzzy. That's so pretty. I'm gonna keep that too. It's like a Barbie pink. It's in the shade Candy Girl. We'll swatch it for you. Oh, it's very sheer. Random. I thought it was gonna be like a pigmented lipstick, but it's more of a lip balm almost. Lip gelato. Ooh, that sounds nice. We've got a Bite lipstick. This is in the shade Meringue. Ooh, pretty. Okay, I'm like literally keeping all of these lipsticks. They look the same, but whatever. Um, we've got some three concept eyes. I'm just gonna pop these under here because I think we've got heaps of, yeah we do. These are all three concept eyes, so I might as well do all of them together. Over here we've got some K Beauty. I'm just going to do part of all of them because they're ancient as well. This is probably like my oldest lipstick drawer right here. This particular drawer. Um, I think, yeah, a lot of this stuff's from like 2013, 2014, so well overdue for a clear out. This is why I often do giveaways and declutters and charity, like give them to charity and stuff like that because back in the day I used to just keep everything and that's why like all of this happens and now I can see how wasteful it is as well. So. When I get sent stuff, I'd rather like give the excess to people that are going to use it rather than just keep it for myself, put it in a drawer and then throw it in the bin later on. Um, so I don't know. I feel like I'll just keep, keep, keep getting better and keep improving and keep narrowing down what I think I need. Like I still know I keep way too much, but I just get worried because obviously with the nature of my job and what I do on YouTube, like I need to make sure I still do have options to show you guys. There's some L'Oreal lipsticks just here, which some of these look so pretty. I feel like these ones aren't as old. Can someone let me know? Because I feel like, I don't know, I might still just get rid of them though. Okay, next up we've got all of the Maybelline. So I think I'm just going to pick a few of my favorites. I think most of these are still available, not every single one. So I'm just going to split them up and fast forward this for you guys and choose some favorites. I'm 99% sure all of these are extremely um, old and expired, but I'm still keeping four because the colors are just so freaking pretty. Um, we've also got some Smashbox liquid lipsticks, which I am going to put in the bottom drawer. There's also some Jouer lip glosses, but I have all of my liquid lipsticks and lip glosses and stuff down the bottom, and I actually think I will move some of them back up here, but... I want to like organize that with the bottom drawer because yeah since they are short they fit up here I don't know it'll all make sense when I do declutter all of my liquid lipsticks and my lip glosses look how horrendous this drawer is it's so bad all right so that drawer as you can see is it complete I feel very accomplished right now and now as you can see we've got a bunch more so there are already straight away heaps in boxes these are very old so I might open up a couple off camera and just see what they're looking like whether I try to donate them and see how they go or if I just um, give them to friends oh my gosh okay so straight away I'm going to throw away all of my OCC lip tars some of these are even from probably like 2013 because they are so old. Oh, some of them have leaked as well. Look at this. That is so foul. Can you see that? Oh, they literally smell like petrol because they are so excited. I think these vanished off the like face of the earth. I've got some mini Chichi lipsticks right here, which I left to friends. They're pretty new actually, but I've already kept my favorite ones in the full size. Okay, I've got some more like lip glosses, liquid lipsticks. I'm gonna be switching in between drawers a lot and fast forwarding a whole lot of this for you. You can see there's a whole lot more like Chichi lipsticks as well. So I'm going to go through and just throw out entire lines of the lipsticks that I know are either like ridiculously old. For example, the Napoleon Purtis. I bought these in 2013, 2014. So these are going in the bin. They're so old. 
I hate to think what they look like on the inside, but we will soon find out when I do my um, video, you know, going through all the expired stuff and having a look at it under a microscope and then mixing it together and making a revolting old expired lipstick because science, I guess. I don't know. All right, I've got some brand new pencils by Smashbox. I actually really like these. They're always on lip pencils, but I'll give them to someone else to enjoy. I've got like hairs in here even. Yuck. What are these Lancome lipsticks, which are actually like pretty brand new, I believe. So I think I'm just going to pop them up here for now and then we'll move them up to the top drawer soon. I'm going to put all of the lipsticks that I'm keeping up here. So yeah, I'm just going to get rid of all of the ones that I know I don't want anymore. And then we'll go through some more. Okay, my bag is so freaking heavy now of all of the lipsticks I'm getting rid of. So, okay, where can I start? Here we've got some Elizabeth Arden. So pretty. I don't know why I don't reach for Elizabeth Arden lipsticks because they are genuinely like some of the most beautiful colors in the entire freaking world. I think I'm just going to give them to friends. I don't think they're too old. Um, we've got some Burberry right here, which... I think I've only used like once, so I'll probably give these to friends as well. I don't know, they never really blew me away. The colors don't blow me away. Nothing about them blows me away. So someone else can enjoy those. I don't really want to just chuck them in the bin because they cost me a jillion dollars. I have some more YSL lipsticks right here. So I'm just going to swatch them. This shade right here is called um, Rouge Fill Up Shine in shade 8. Let me just zoom you in a little bit. The color is so pretty. I'm obsessed. So I'll keep that. I'll just put them just here if you can see. Um, we've got shade 20 which is like a watermelon pink. That's so nice as well. It doesn't actually look that pretty in the packaging and then you swatch it and it's so different. And then we've got shade 6 which is like super bright. I'll donate that one slash give it to my friends. Um, we've got some Chanel lipsticks here. Beautiful deep pink and a, oh my god that colour is amazing. It's like a super deep reddish colour. So I think I'll keep the reddish one. I don't know. That one's just not really tickling my fancy. We have a Christian Dior lip balm thing back there. We've got Land of Lips. Wasn't this cream corset? Was this Samantha's collab? I can't remember, but I used it and I loved it, but that's so old. It's so good if like all makeup had little like dates on when it was manufactured, like the date it was produced so that then you'd like know when you should be throwing stuff away. This here is Bridget by Laura Mercier. I love it, but I can tell it's off because it's gone all weird in the texture when I've just swatched it. I've got another Burberry, which I'll give to friends. Where are we at? We have some Natural Nudes by Too Faced. Skinny Dippin'. These are like a, you can see a rounder bullet. I'm going to donate those. We've got Mellow Lipsticks. I love these, so. I might just pick some of my favorites or should I just keep them all? I don't know. These are so nice though guys and the packaging so nice. It's like MAC packaging. I think I'm just going to like choose which ones I want to keep and then get rid of the rest. Look at this one. This is in it the shade Nude. I just have to swatch it for you. Look how pretty. It's not really a nude. It's like a purpley kind of neutral color but still. Oh, there's another audacious lipstick here in the shade Catherine. Oh my god, that's amazing. Let me put that up the top with my others. A Dior gloss. This is one of my favorite glosses in the entire world. The Collagen Active Lip Maximizer. Just put that in the bottom drawer. I don't know why it's up there. Oh my god, this drawer's so heavy. Okay, I need to actually get rid of all of these La Masca that are well expired. I bought them in like 2014 and 2013 also, I believe. And I love them, but wow, they're old. And I just don't reach for them as much anymore. Like some of my lipsticks that are ancient, like Tom Ford and YSL, like even though they're so old, some of them are probably expired. Like a lot of the formulas are still fine because I have really kept such good care of my makeup. But the reason I'm still checking away the ones I'm like, oh, it's expired. Like some of them might still be okay-ish, 
but if I'm not using them I might as well put them in the bin you know what I mean <laughs> or like I say some of them I give to friends if they want to give them a go and see how they go with them but yeah so we also have some Lush Lip by Becca I should actually keep these because I haven't experimented with them that much they're just really nice like I guess hydrating lipsticks and I've already got four here so we'll pop those aside and then I've got all of these Tarte lipsticks. I love Tarte lipsticks. Um, one of my favorite ones is Pink Sands at the moment. You guys have seen me talk about it a few times on Instagram stories and stuff. So I think I'm just going to go through and just keep a few of these. By the way, also, I have done lip swatches on a lot of Tarte lipsticks too. I can't remember if it was this line. I'm pretty sure it was this line. Um, I did a big lip swatch video. So you can just search Shenixo Tarte lip swatches. Alright, so I got rid of, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got rid of nine, so almost half ish. <laughs> okay, next up we have, oh, there's a couple more Laura Mercier, which are very old, but they are both new, so I'll give them to friends to see if they're still all good. We have heaps of free concept eyes, which are very old. Oh my god, look, and they're like falling apart. So I think I'll just go through and chuck some in the bin and then. I don't know, I might keep a couple, we'll see. Because some of the colours are very unique, so I'll just fast forward through this. You know what? I'm going to get rid of all of them. Now, next up is Smashbox. And a lot of the Smashbox ones are also very, 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 very old. So, oh, actually, we've also got Melt. These are ancient as well. I mean, I bought these years ago. I'm going to get rid of all the Melts. Actually, should I keep a couple of the... No, I don't use them either. And then I'm just going to maybe choose a few of my favorite Smashbox ones. I do really love Smashbox lipsticks. They are stunning. I can actually smell like the pungent kind of smell on some of these. Meaning like they've kind of turned all rancid. Like the plasticky smell. So I guess I'll just, I don't know, see how I go as I try them. Okay, so I've got four here, beautiful shades. Um, I've kept Pinch Me Matte, Famous, um, Chai, and Melon Drama. Okay, next up we've got Tom Ford, so I'm pretty much gonna keep all of the full-size Tom Ford. I'm just gonna move them over here. I think I may have a couple of doubles, so the doubles I'll gift to friends, but there's no way I'm throwing these away because I paid like 50 US dollars each. And then these ones here, these are minis and most of them are destroyed. So I will probably melt those into a lipstick. I've also been gifted a few of these ones. So I'll probably organize them up the top soon and just yeah, go with it. Also got some Kevin Aquan. These are friggin' ancient. Absolutely ancient. Um, a couple more of those ones. And then another little mini one. This is actually really pretty, but... I'll give it to a friend. And we've got some gloss. We've got some various like lipsticks and stuff like that. Some liquid lipsticks right here. So those can go down the bottom and then all of these I'll probably put into my lip liner jar when I do that. So that's like this drawer empty. So what I'll probably do like is take out these and actually use this as storage. So I've completely cleared that out and almost this as well. So I'm going to transfer some of these up the top now and just reorganize. So I'm just going to do this in fast forward. It's going to be a lot of fast forwarding um, just while I make it look all pretty into like one drawer for you guys. Well, for myself, but also for you guys because you guys like to watch it.
Oh my god, that smells so off. It smells like burnt plastic. Some of these are definitely fine because they still smell like vanilla -y. I think that's the scent anyway, hopefully. Yeah, that is rancid as well. Holy shit, man. Some of them are like all good and then some of them are terrible. Okay, I'm just going through and smelling them now. Because some of them smell very bad. Oh my gosh, sorry guys, I have the freaking aircon on too. Oh my gosh, you can probably hear it. I apologize. Oh my god, look how pale this is. <laughs> Vanilla suede. You can't even see it. It's like concealer. Tom Ford literally has the best packaging. I love, love the lipstick packaging. Okay, so that's it. Look, I have so much space still. So much room for activities. I'm just moving a little, few more things around a little. figure out where to put these because I know I've got more Urban Decay lipsticks to go through and I need more space for these Urban Decay lipsticks because I've got a lot in my bag that I've not yet put away and I also lost a few shades <laughs> which I know is so bad but um, I just don't know what to do. Just do that for now. Uh, let's just do something like that. And I've got a few more MAC lipsticks to go through, but that's fine. So here we are. This is what I'm left with um, for all of my stick slash bullet lipsticks. I've got MAC. I've got a few assorted ones, Dose of Colors, Fenty. I've got Tarte, Dose of Colors, Chi Chi, some Makeup Store, some Inglot, some Mellow, some Nars, Smashbox, Maybelline. This is L'Oreal, I think. Yeah, L'Oreal, uh, YSL, Chanel, um, Dolce Gabbana, some Elizabeth Arden, Expert Beauty, Tom Ford, Sephora Collection, Urban Decay, Marc Jacobs, Clinique, Colourpop. So yeah, what do you guys think of my narrowed down collection? Oh, also some Lancome and Anastasia Beverly Hills here, Becca, Pixie. I also have more lip swatches and everything to do, like on the Huda Beauty um, bullet lipsticks and stuff like that. So I'll definitely put some more in here. When I do do those lip swatch videos, obviously I just give my friends the shades I don't really like that much since they're used. Or if I can sanitize them easily, I could do that and give them to charity as well. So yeah, I've got some liquid lipsticks up here as you can see as well. So I'll probably see what happens with that bottom drawer, which is the next declutter. Um, if I find some more like short liquid lipsticks, I might like put some up here as well. I really need to narrow down that drawer a lot because I don't reach for most of them and I don't wear a lot of liquid lipsticks these days. I do like some like Tarte and stuff, so I'll be keeping some of them, but you guys will see in the next video. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know you like it and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.